Now waiting fit I next chairman and be this. She be quite quite so don't come and provoke scatter every everywhere. Now waiting fit I next chairman. Quite quite so announcer man has come out to condemn the election. Say people when they talk say this election was free and fair. Make on I watch this video. Make on I share and make the whole Niger people know what did they happen. Only APC now they happy with this presidential election where they conduct for Nigeria. Quite so don't come out scatter everywhere. I've seen in most states how people were openly displaying money, both local and foreign currencies, purchasing voters, and so on and so forth. We have seen how in many states, especially in my state in Kano, our government brought that money, and the same government in Kano imported tax even from neighboring states, and not only states, even from our neighboring countries, and being supported by some of the security agents that we have here in this country. And I pray to Almighty God to show us in this country what election will be the, the way it used to be. Peaceful, without guns, without other dangerous weapons, without purchase, open purchase of uh, boots and so on and so forth. I pray to Almighty God that because now I believe we are almost, in fact we are already there at the point of prayer because some of the things are being supported by governments at all levels. And the way it's going now, only God, God knows what would happen in some of these states. We have seen what happened in Kano in 2029, I mean 19. And also in the last election, we saw what happened in some states, especially in state, where security agents were being seen running around, picking boxes, shooting in the air, doing all sorts of things. And many other states, even in Imo, we pray that the judiciary should be a better place for all of us. Because now we have number four, being the governor of the state. Maybe he will be number five or six and still go back to his seat, being supported by INEC, supported by uh, judiciary mainly. We have even seen what happened in our own case in 2019. So actually, for me, I believe that uh, too much, in fact, so many things are wrong with our democracy. And uh, those who are hit so hard at the democracy are the very people who are the beneficiaries of this democracy. I'm not surprised, maybe because they have lost contact with the people. People don't like them. That's the fact of the matter. The ruling party got all these results for the obvious reasons we all know. That's not the will of the people. Free and fair election, I know NNPP would have done much better than we have seen. And my advice to my friends, my colleagues in politics, please go softly, softly. Try and be popular. Try and earn the love and support of your people. What we are seeing now is people stealing everything that should go to the people make them so poor to the extent that on election day you only need to bring money, noodles, wrapper and maybe a couple of thousands of naira and purchase them because they have nothing. I believe that the system cannot go for too far or long under our circumstances. So we are concerned in the NPP by the way and manner elections are taking place or have taken place in this last election and the potential of all these things in fact even wrong in this off-season elections but nobody said anything anything goes once everybody will say announce me let them go to court because the court is their home they know what to do in the court they don't care i believe that uh, it doesn't help anybody unfair treatment and just i believe is what has created so many terrible things in this country. Banditry, Boko Haram, and so many other things. People are agitating here and there because of injustice. And this justice is what we have been seeing in many places. So I ask the government, especially the federal government, which I believe everything stops at the table of Mr. President. If he wants free and fair election, I believe to be done. Just look away. These criminals, we are in the faces of democracy, will continue to do what they know best. 
they know they are not loved by their people in their streets. All what they need to do is to bring out money and guns and terrorize everybody. Take over and go to government house again. This is a very sad story in this country. And I can tell you, you cannot build something on nothing. And that's what is happening now in many government houses in this country. And that's why we have the results ranging from state assembly up to presidential election. Most people are not celebrating. Everybody is looking around. Nobody is celebrating. You don't see celebrations. So that's not the reflection of the minds of our people. If you want to see celebration, go to Kano and see people dancing. Because they are sick and tired of the government. And it's not only Kano. People are expecting changes in many states, if not all states. But here we are going back to square one. And no wonder people at the head of affairs are saying without knowing the implication that very soon people will start praising Mr. President. Because they know it will be worse than what we have today. And this is a very sad story. Everybody was looking for real change, positive change in this country. You know the way and manner things are happening. Our students, in fact our children, cannot go to school. Nobody is talking of education today. Nobody is even talking of anything. Our children are taking drugs. Our children have no job. And nobody cares. All what they need is swearing in, taking over, and worsening the situation. Mr. Mr. ladies and gentlemen, the time, if those of us who are scientists and engineers and so on, we are looking for prayer instead of going to the field to do things. This is the time for prayer. So I'm happy our vice presidential candidate is a bishop. So please do more. Tell your colleagues in all the...